It's that time of the year. It's that time of the year. Where you don't want to get any gifts. No, I don't have any space for stuff. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times. Hi guys, Merry Christmas to everybody. This year I'm going to do a little bit of a different video because I know there's a lot of channels out there doing Christmas videos this year and they're pushing promotional products that companies give them so that they can market it for them and that's a wonderful thing. I'm trying to keep my channel simple. So whatever you see on my channel is things that I have been sent, that I have tested and I have used. So this year is going to be a little different because I don't really have a lot of new products for you but some ideas. So the first thing I want to mention is if you are interested in Christmas gifts, please go to my playlist called Featured Products where I specifically talk about certain products that I have either purchased myself or have received from companies in order to do reviews. And all of these products, I can tell you that still to this day, I am using all of those products and all of those products work really well. So anyway, guys, today's video is going to be a little different because I'm playing on my forest video that I just posted a few weeks ago. If you know somebody who's going to be RVing and you want gift suggestions to give them because these people are not easy to buy for. They don't have a lot of room if they're going full timing. And if they are going to be traveling in their RV, they're gonna be spending a lot of money on stuff because you have to buy hoses and water filters and well, there's just a lot of stuff that you have to buy. So, you know, you wanna help them a little bit along. Number one, you could give them a gift card to Bass Pro Shops. Number two, you can give them a gift card to Cabela's that always helps if you are going to buy some stuff or you want to go on a list tell people what you need let's talk about hiking hiking is something that you're eventually going to do if you're going on the road we don't think about it I don't think about it I recently went hiking on the road and I'll link my video below and the problem I had is I got lost in the forest and I realized I'm not prepared to go hiking even though I love hiking and it's a part of RV travels so what do you do you have to start buying items guess what? There's a lot of stuff that you have to buy. So this is my video for today. I want to show you some of the items that you can give away or receive if you are an RVer. These things will come in very handy and they don't take up a lot of room at all. Meals, meals, meals. Everybody should have a meal in their backpack because if you get stuck in the forest for a night or two, you will want to have a camping meal. These usually run about eight or nine dollars now at Walmart. So if you know somebody, you could put this inside their backpack. Speaking of backpacks, you should always have a good backpack when you go hiking. I wrote about it in my blog. You will definitely want to have a backpack with good padded shoulder straps because after you're walking for a long time, you need to have good padding in the back. You want to have good padding again, so you want to have pockets so that all your things have good organizational pockets. This is just a regular school backpack. This is not a lot of money, probably $10, $15. If you wait for the school season to come around, you can stock up on these and give them away as gifts. Instead of making like a gift basket for somebody and you wanted to, you can prepare a backpack and put hiking items that they will use in there. So they will use a meal. And this is another great idea that I bought a long time ago. It's still in the package. I haven't used it. I'm afraid to take it out because I do have a kid on board. So I don't want him thinking it's a toy, even though I've told him it's something that I have in case of an emergency. I did bring this with me in my backpack. So this is around $50 at Walmart. If you can find it cheaper some, somewhere, get it. But this is a flare gun. If you ever got lost in the forest, you might want to have one of these with you. A lot of sailors use this. The other thing you're going to want to have is emergency blanket. If you do have to overnight in the forest and you are lost, an emergency blanket is a great way to go. There's different uh, kinds of these. This one I think was about three dollars. They have some other ones that are six and seven dollars. You don't want to be cheap with it. Right now I bought this for now but eventually I'll probably get a better one in the future. You never know when it's going to be raining. Even if it's a hot day you can have torrential downpours and rain. You definitely want to have an emergency poncho with you at all times. You also want to have matches. The metal striker that they have, but those are expensive. So for right now, since I'm not really going to be doing a lot of hiking, I did pick these up. These are the Stay Lit No Matter What 
stormproof matches. So there's 150 of them. They're windproof and waterproof. I'll probably get the other ones at a later date, but for now I got these. These are not expensive. I think these are about $3. And there's still a lot of things that I have to get, but for right now, I don't want to break the bank. So this is just limited stuff. When I went to Walmart, when looking for a hunting vest for me and for Christian, guess what? I couldn't find them. They didn't have them. They were either out or everybody bought them or I don't know what they was, but I don't think they're going to cost $4. Also went into the area for construction. They had some there for 16 and I think the hunting ones will probably cost more than that. So I decided to purchase a man's orange t-shirt. This is a large. This is big for me. It's very big, but you want to have it big because one of the reasons you want to have something like this, if you are wearing a coat or a jacket, you would want to wear this over your coat and your jacket if you were doing a hike during hunting season so that people can see you. I bought this so that I can make it into a vest and using the, the remnants of it into making some other things. So stay tuned because I will have a DIY video in the future of how I'm going to turn this into a vest and what I'm going to use the remnants for in the future. That's all coming in 2019. So we can give away one of those or you can do the DIY and give it to them in the backpack. The other thing that I got recently, Hokina sent me this. These are LED safety flares and I love this product. First of all, I love the packaging with this. These people know their packaging. When you open this, you get this. I just love things like this. It says we love our customers and there's all the information there, how to contact them if you have a problem. Right behind the postcard, they give you the battery requirements, the replacement, how to every all the information is there in one simple cart i love when i get things like that that is so nice i love this product because these are led flares they come in this cute little bag if you break down on the road you're going to need flares but the reason that i like this is because if i had this in my car i could throw this inside of my backpack if i ever got lost in the woods or something and people were looking for me if i was flashing this at night look at this you just flick it and it's look how many different ways you can do that let's see look at this this is so cool it's got a light there too so see you can do that you can do those if i broke down on the road i can do that depending on where i am i can put these out this product comes with a bag. I love the carry bag. So it's called, they all come in there. There's three of them in here. The wrench for changing the batteries in here. So the tool is in there for the batteries. You can also hang these if you wanted to. Isn't that cool? I'll have the link below for this product if you want to buy it. I think this is a great thing to have for emergencies on the road. LED flares is what it's called. And here's, there's nine different lighting modes. And it even has a flashlight, which is the one in the front that I showed. And they're magnetic too. So here you go. See? So the, I guess the, you can put them on the side of your car or whatever, or your motorhome. I love the fact also that it comes with this free tool. This comes with the car emergency escape tool. So let me take this out so you can see. So it has a seatbelt cutter right here. And it also has the window breaker. So if you were fell in the water or something like that and you had to get out and you couldn't open your door, this is a must have, especially in your Florida with all the canals. You can screw this into your car if you wanted to or your RV. You can put it, hang it or something so that you have it, you know exactly where it is in your car. If you had it loose, it could float away. But the nice thing about this is you could actually screw it in just right there where the driver's seat is, you could screw it in so you always know where it is. It won't float away. And you'll get both of these items inside this cute little box when you buy from them so and i just love when everything comes in storage kits like this because i don't have to think twice i know i have it and it's done if i was in the forest i could have probably taken that uh, flares with me and if i got lost or something i at nighttime or something maybe if i'm flashing that or something somebody would have spotted me they would have helped me out of the forest so that's a great thing to bring with you in the forest or if there was a helicopter or something up ahead I could be flashing that at night and they'd probably see that really well. Down below, the information will be there with the link so that you can order yours or give them away as a gift. So those are my Christmas suggestions for this year. Not a lot, guys, because I want to keep it simple. I want to keep it low budget. I don't want you guys spending a lot of money or giving a lot of expensive things away. Remember, you're in an RV. You can't be buying new stuff all the time. And I've already talked about a lot of the essential 
things that you need on the road. So I just want to talk a little bit about what's coming up in 2019. We're still running our land series, but I'll be running a goal setting series for 2019 to get you on the road and help you on the road particularly if you're running a business and doing administrative jobs on the road or planning on doing administrative jobs i'm going to try to help you become very paperless and very efficient in organizing your stuff so you don't have files and papers and all this stuff it's going to be easy for you to hand over your paperwork to your accountant at the end of the year especially if you are on the road and you have to do all these things so that's a series that's coming up in 2019 that I'm working on and I've been using for half a year now digital planner a lot of the Etsy shops now have them and I'll be showing you what I use and how to efficiently run a business with a lot of these planners it's not just for planning it's also for administrative things as well and I'll show you how to do that in my video now that I'm using the digital planning system I don't have a use for these planners anymore so I decided to do a giveaway and give them to you especially so you can follow along with my goal setting series which I've already talked about in my full timing series how important it is that you set goals to get you to where you want to go a year or two or three years from now. If you want everything that I'm going to show you here, then I need you to comment in the bottom, say everything. If you just want to be in the giveaway for one particular item, then just name the item that you want to be in the giveaway for so that I can just put you in there for that. So with that said, here we go. The first one is going to be the Panda Planner. This is a project planner. It's a really good size. It's hardbound book never been used it's undated I've never filled it in so as you can see you can go on Amazon and look it up you'll see all the stuff in there that you can do with that with the uh, with the panda planner so if you want the panda planner it will be yours just say down below you want the panda planner if you want everything here just say everything but if you want just the panda planner I'm gonna put you in the giveaway for just the panda planner okay this one is the law of attraction planner if you want this planner right law of attraction or if you also undated planner and this is about calling the law of attraction into your life and you, I got a lot of good information out of this as you can see you just fill in the information and there's a lot of reviews for your month what's working what's not working so if you're a procrastinator you might want to go with this because this really walks you through how to do effective planning in your life and you'll learn a lot from that too this one is great if you're a mom if you have kids if you're going to be um, full-timing and you want to be able to put pictures in your planner and be functional at the same time this is a great way to log in the days of your travels you can put some pictures and stuff like that it's like a memory planning journal so if you want this one let's just put on there it's a kit if you want all of these products then put everything on there and I know that whatever it is I'll Make sure you're on the list for it. So those are the three planners. I'm also giving away. This is a car cover. This keeps your car um, from getting dirty. So if you want this, I'm going to have the information below. And you can just check the measurements down in the description box so that you can get this. Put down in the bottom that you want the car cover. If you want everything that's here, then just put everything and I'll put you in the giveaway for everything. So before you go, I want to talk about what's coming up. Coming up is the digital planning that is part of my business, business administration uh, goal setting series for 2019. That's going to be coming up. We are still doing the land series, taking a little bit longer than usual. But we're still going to keep talking about that because it's still important to talk about that and um, and learn from each other because there's people who are doing this out there and I love in the comments that a lot of you guys who are doing this and are in particular areas and you're doing this kind of lifestyle where you live one place and you have land somewhere else I love that you guys are commenting so other people can see that yeah there is a lot of that out there you know it's not just what people post out there P people seem to be posting all the same stuff all the time you know oh you go to the Walmart it says no you go to the Walmart so if everybody thinks oh we, you know, we have an RV, we have to go to RV parks. No, guess what? There are people living on their own land when they're RVing and they're living full time and they're doing it, you know. So this is what I want to show you some aspects of RVing that not a lot of RVers are talking about. 
And don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you want. Thank you for watching. I still have more videos coming up throughout the holidays. This is not just it. But um, I will do, be doing a live for the giveaway. Louis will be here for that. And his kids will are, are also going to be staying with me at my home during the holidays. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm also going to be meeting a subscriber who bought some land here in Florida. And will be living in a shed that he's building out, which is a great idea. I did a video on that. So um, I'm anxious to see and meet him. And that's going to be a fun day that we're all going to get to go and meet with him. This year, I'm sure with me and Louis, we'll be traveling somewhere this year. The meetup, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the meetup yet. We're still working on it. So hopefully, we'll have a way for people to meet up here in Florida in February. So subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of stuff coming up. And you don't want to miss it. And well, you know how it is. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And... God bless all of you. Have a Merry Christmas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share it, and please subscribe.